Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about the UFC Top 10 Finishes of 2021 Reaction. Uh, the UFC is home to the finest mixed martial artists in the world and if you're an MMA enthusiast just like me then you click on the right video. Today we take a look at the UFC's Top 10 Finishes for 2021. Well 2021 is nowhere near finished yet but some of these guys got wrecked stay tuned until the end so you won't miss a thing so shall we okay he's a number 10 Miyoshik versus Ingano have you guys ever heard the saying the bigger they come the harder they fall well this is exactly what happened to former UFC heavyweight champion Steffi Miyoshik now looking at the video the progress is actually pretty slow like you can't really tell what's going to happen next but then when Francis Ingana saw an opening he then throws a punch straight to the head that discombobulates Milchi then another then another and another legend as it comes Milchi is still recovering to this day and maybe angry because he didn't get that automatic rematch well we'll see number nine Willie V is Namayanas one key to rule them all that was all it took for american mixed martial artist rose namayonis to take down zan willie magnum in latin means great but perhaps this magnum is the one for pleasure seekers you know <laughs> the ice cream nonetheless enjoy the quick finish by namayonis as i did number eight san hagen vs edgar you got to look closely at this quick finish because if you blink you might just miss it. In 28 seconds, Corey Sanhagen was able to bring down the UFC veteran Frankie Edgar with a flying knee. Really remarkable. I'll have to take a second look at it because apparently even Edgar didn't know what happened. After that, I mean, who would honestly? Number seven, Reyes versus Prochaska. If that last one got you, then this one will put you, your jaw to the floor. 2-6 for this battle, it are in the ring, and in a matter of seconds, 4 minutes and 29 seconds to be exact. Yeri Prochaska pulls up the spinning back elbow that gets Dominic Reyes to the floor. The 6 foot 3 best is the heaviest man to pull off the move in the octagon and has made it on the 7th on the list. Hope executed it successfully. As for Reyes, uh, let's just say he won't be looking at elbows normally for a while. Number 6. Borgos versus Barbosa. You know when you eat a nice bowl of chili and you're enjoying it at first but then suddenly it hits you? That's exactly what happened to Borgos. After 3 rounds back and forth, jabs and kicks, the fight ends abruptly with Borgos is hit in the head twice and stumbles back on his own. The moment he started to do a descending back pedal, everyone just knew. Talk about finished. Number five. Shidchenko versus Murphy. With a name like Valentina, you think that she'll be all sweet? But in the octagon, she's a beast. Even pro MMA fighters think so. Her speed and obvious precision in her attack showed what caused Murphy to back pedal and eventually end her fight. For the win, she's a truly gold. Number four, Poré versus McGregor. The lack of the Irish didn't make it its way to the UFC octagon on the Poré versus McGregor that last January 2021. This long-awaited rivalry ended in a matter of two minutes and 32 seconds of the second round when Poré threw one punch to the head that fist Silly threw the Irishman off his radar. Coupled with a few more leg like, kick attacks and punches, and knockout was in our midst. Dustin Poré really amped up his game. Number three, Lewis versus Blades. Remember when I said that some of these guys were wrecked? Well, Blades was definitely one of them. Lewis 
put him to sleep literally poor guy but hey that's MMA for you in just a minute and 26 seconds Derek Lewis figured his blades an uppercut that led to his fall number two Oliveira v Chandler after more than 10 years in the industry Charles Oliveira got his first title shot just this year this after beating the guts out of Michael Chandler Vega TKO at 19 seconds in the second round Michael Chandler holds the Bellator record for most finishes but that night he was the one who got finished and suffice to say well it was all deserved and now a number one is Osman versus Masvidal okay sometimes I do have tendency to get tacky but <laughs> to laugh during a fight in the UFC nah bro well Masvidal has had his as handed to him all right almost literally in just a matter of one minute and two seconds in the second round osman punched the living hell out of masvidal that served him right for being cheeky mm -hmm, right well watch the video again so you remember to never laugh at your opponent ever again just look at the saliva coming of masvidal's face oh chills so what do you think guys who among the spiders were finished with a capital F? Comment down below so we know what you think and I'll see you next time. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye.